The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taewa, has noted with concern and said that it is a shame that Africa, which is three times bigger than Europe, is not represented as a significant force at the UN Security Council, the UN body responsible for monitoring and observing international peace and security. The Deputy Speaker pledged that Uganda and her friendly countries would press for Africa to have a permanent seat on the UN Security Council in the not-too-distant future. Africa, which is uh, times three the size of Europe, is not represented at the UN Security Council. And you find the time you shared, you still considered Africa as a village. Because the time you are making all this Security Council, you never considered us countries who were villages which you were controlling. We were, Uganda was under the British. Therefore, it couldn't be considered a country. So to be having such a... Uh, 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 a debate and where we are having a convergence of ideas and to reform very critical issues because Security Council has been reduced to settling of quarrels between big states, between superpowers. But when it came to invasion of Africa, invasion of Libya, you did all you could and you made it a mess. Now you've seen one of your own whom you considered an ally in Security Council, what he has done to one of your European countries, and you're waking up. Maybe uh, we need most of these examples for you to wake up. Otherwise, if, if this had been done much earlier, you would have listened to us, uh, to us much, much earlier. According to Right Honorable Taewa, the current membership of the UN Security Council, where European countries have held three out of the five seats since 1947, has no standing in any modern society. So we do want, number one, as Uganda and uh, support of Africa, remove veto powers. Who are you, one country to sit and you say you veto the decision of the world? Number two, we would want to give more powers to the UN General Assembly, where most of the countries are represented. You don't just give five countries, four countries, and then we also must look into the funding of the UN. Because it seems in the UN, those who give more are the ones who have more power so that all issues are settled in the General Assembly. You can't say where the whole world is represented, you only make resolutions that are not uh, 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 mandatory. Then the one where you have just a few people, you know, you say their resolutions are mandatory and enforceable. We have to change this and I want to thank you for the support. When the UN was formed in 1945, the five countries now permanent members of the UN Security Council had either strong economies, emerged victorious after World War II, or had a huge population. These are the US, UK, China, Russia, and France. On his part, Namibia's chief whip, Honorable Nantangwe Itete, told the African, Caribbean, and Pacific states, European Union Joint Parliamentary Assembly that most of the demands for reforms have previously met a dead end, mostly because the UN Security Council itself has to endorse any changes to its structure, including an approval of vote by all the five permanent members. Those in power, they keep rejecting us. We do not know whether we are saying it to the right people or not. It's now about time the Security Council should listen to us. If it's the issue of changing the charter, the charter needs to be changed so that Africa can have a permanent seat on the Security Council. It cannot be business as usual. It cannot continue this way. Year in, year out, speaking the same thing, speaking the same thing, be ignored, be ignored all the time. If the United Nations feel that Africa cannot be a member of Security Council, then let's form another United Nations. Right Honorable Esmond Eving, Deputy Speaker of Trinidad and Tobago and head of the delegation, said that any negotiations about reforms in the UN Security Council must include discussions about permanent seats for the African Union and the Caribbean. Eritrea's head of delegation, Right Honorable Musa Hussein Naib, told the African, Caribbean and Pacific States Assembly that all countries, regardless of size, should play an increasingly bigger and more effective role in the endeavor to build a fair, just, equitable and sustainable globe. As long as this paramount body is deprived of real decision-making power, the United Nations will remain unrepresentative of the nations of the world.